Hey guys, Matt from MPS. Uh, what we're doing today is uh, overhauling the injectors from a 2 litre TSFI, uh, specifically a Mark V Golf GTI Edition 30. This is the one that has the KO4 turbo, whereas the standard GTI just has a KO3. Uh, but this is the 2 litre TSFI, so same engine as the S3. Uh, we've already done three uh, injectors, they're freshly overhauled. You can see there's a fresh Teflon seal right at the top, followed by new radial support rings, upper support ring, and you have the O ring retainer. Well, it's like a support ring, and then the new O ring. New O rings, when you're putting them on, a little bit of fresh engine oil. Uh, obviously, you don't want to put them on dry, you're just tearing them. Uh, but when you're installing it onto the fuel rail, when it goes on, when you get the inlet manifold to go back onto the head, uh, you don't want to rip the O-rings. Obviously, these there's about 100, and if you've got, well, if you've got the RS4 fuel pressure regulator, you've got an excess of 150 bar of fuel pressure going through these injectors, so you can't afford to have any leaks. So we'll start. Uh, this is the an injector we've uh, cleaned up, uh, removed O-rings. That's a bit better. You see at the top of here, you have the the old Teflon seal and then obviously this is the section for where your o-ring and your uh, ring support goes so first thing you want to do clean the injector up uh, we use fresh petrol don't use anything else other than petrol to clean these injectors uh, and don't get any inside the, uh, the loom for obvious reasons so we'll start by removing the Teflon seals here we find it's best to use a sharp sanding knife very very carefully cut diagonally onto the uh, Teflon seal and then you get a small flathead screwdriver and you poke it into the cut you've just made at that 45 degree to widen the injector the, uh, the injector, the, uh, the Teflon seal. There you go. That's uh, Teflon seal. It's not very the zooms. Not well. They're not the zoom, but the focus is not great. But there, you can just about make it out. And you have the, the recess with the center ring, which holds the Teflon ring in place once it's compressed. There we go. So, clean rag, clean up the, uh, the journal where the Teflon seal is going to sit. Also, worth mentioning, decoat the, uh, the injector crowns. You see the ejector crown here, it's got quite a lot of carbon build up. You can see that there. So just a very small flathead screwdriver and just gently rub the carbon off. Obviously you don't want the carbon to start intruding into the, uh, the port for the injector. Obviously that will affect the spray pattern, obviously. Spray pattern on modern TSFI engines is everything. And it's coming up quite nicely. Again, clean rag. If it's stubborn, just soak it in petrol for a little bit and the carbon will come off. But as you can see, quite clean now. Don't need to go mad with these, just get the carbon off. Right, once you've done that, you will need uh, the proper VAS tools for this, which is the genuine Volkswagen Audi Group uh, service technician tools. Uh, this one is the T10133C for Charlie. Uh, this whole kit, you'll get all you need to overhaul the FSI injectors. So, we'll start by taking the, the spline and the new Teflon seal 
slide the Teflon seal onto the spline and get your calibrated, there's various different size calibrated uh, drift rings to push the Teflon seals on and then you have smaller ones which eventually compress the Teflon onto the stalk of the injector. It's very important uh, you don't try and do this with anything else but the proper VAS tools. So put it on until it sits like that. Okay. Then you get your injector. You'll notice the injector has a little dimple just there from where the port is and then this drift spike has a recess cut into that so it sits perfectly flush. Then once you've done that, get to your, uh, your Dash 6 drift rod. Use the other end for this section. And as you can see, you push that until the Teflon seal is now in the journal on this injector stalk. As you can see, that's not ready. That will never seal in a, nor will you ever get it into the head. So we need to start compressing this, reshaping it to the OD of the uh, of the journal. So you have dash seven, which again is the same as dash six, but with a smaller ID. And this is what is this is starting to compress the Teflon seal onto the stalk. As you can see there. So proper genuine stuff. We don't muck about here. And then with firm pressure holding bottom of the injector firmly, push down, a little turn, either way, or right or left, up to you. And then pull the uh, drift off. As you can see now, the Teflon seal is now slightly compressed. But again, it's not ready yet. You can see how it can rotate on an axle. So we need dash eight, which again is an even smaller ID. So this will compress the Teflon seal. So a more snug fit onto the stalk of the injector. So again, make sure it's also worth mentioning when you're putting these drift rings onto the Teflon seal, make sure you have a nice parallel gap. If you don't have a parallel gap, that would indicate that the drift ring is kind of sitting on the Teflon seal squint. Uh, if you push any, if you put significant force on the ring, if it's not completely flush, you will damage the Teflon seal and you will need a new one. So again, push down with the Dash 8 drift ring. This will be a lot harder than the rest of them because this is the final fit. And free it off in either direction. And there you go. That is the Teflon seal overhauled and ready for the head. But we're not finished there yet, we have to redress the o-ring and support ring on the uh, fuel rail side of the injector. So, new support rings. You will get this in a kit from uh, Volkswagen Audi Group. Any dealership, we use TPS, we have an account with TPS, so we only use genuine parts here. Uh, you have a slight, I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up, slight recess on this side and a slightly bigger OD on this side. The smaller step down faces the plastic side of the injector just here, okay? So the maximum OD side of it is facing the O-ring to support, to give maximum support to the O-ring, okay? Carefully you don't overextend the uh, split in the support ring. Obviously you'll end up getting it caught when you're fixing this back onto the injector rail. New O-rings, again they come in the kit. Lubricate with a fresh bit of uh, engine oil. Don't go mad, just needs a light bit of lubrication. Push it down, and that's that. Okay. 
And for the final step on the uh, FSI injectors, you have the radial compensation ring and the upper support ring, which we now need to install. So this is the radial compensation ring. The factory ones are plastic. They will break when you remove them. It's just what they do. Uh, so VAG have come out, well, I think Bosch, to be exact, have come out with metal versions, which are far more reliable. Less risk of debris flying about the engine bay when you've got inlet manifolds off and stuff. And then you have the upper support ring. The purpose of the upper support ring is so you don't overcompress the injector rail onto the injector seals uh, when you're bolting the manifold back onto the head. Because you install the injectors first into the head, clock them correctly, seat them, then you install the inlet manifold and bolt it down accordingly. So, get your injector, upper support ring. You'll notice that there's a nice cut missing from this. That's to clear the loom of the injector and the eyelet facing up the way, or down the way rather. Locate it and seat it like that. And then get your radial compensation ring. You have little eyelets. These eyelets go into here, to the uh, the upper support ring, and it clicks into place. And there you go. Ready to go.